Here, entering the tool, click Import CAD. And you can see here, if you import a DWG, it shouldn't exceed 5 megabytes. And if it's uh, in DXF, it shouldn't exceed 10 megabytes. Here, I picked a floor plan in DWG. Let's wait a second. Then the plan is automatically recognized by the system. And let's take a look at the CAD file. You can see here it's clean and neat with very clear wall lines and without axis and as simple as possible. And the other thing is that there's only one plan in the CAD file. Let's go back to the interface. Lastly, check the plan and fix some small error manually. Your plan is done.